Welcome to this fan-requested comparison between Sean Ray and Melvin Anthony. I got this request a while back. I can remember seeing it, and I didn't copy-paste it like I have been. Very busy, guys, and I apologize. You deserve better than that, but I did see the request one more time, and I took a mental note, and I figured, well, if I see it once or twice, I should do the request. I just recently used the 1994 Sean Ray, then I used the 1996 Sean Ray. I was going to use the 98, but there wasn't very good picture quality or picture selection for that matter, and I hate using the same versions for you guys over and over again. I like to keep things fresh. You guys tune in to see good videos every day, and I, I don't like to repeat versions. This is the 1995 Sean Ray. Good version, good solid version. There's no rear relaxed, so there's no real symmetry round. It looks like a pretty even matchup, if you ask me. Alvin Anthony, not too shabby at all. Front double bicep pose. Now, see what happened there. Sean Ray, he is much smaller. He's actually quite a bit lighter, I believe. But see his waistline. You can see how much smaller it is, and then boom! Like a king cobra expands those lats. And he has the advantage in the arm department, I would say. Melvin Anthony, a fantastic, terrific set of legs. Not bad at all. He hides away when it comes to this shot. Not the best pose for Melvin Anthony. Sean Ray gets the first all-important point. Here in the front lats, Brad. This is a close one. I'll be honest with you. Sean Ray's lats maybe filled out a little bit more. But Melvin Anthony's, they look like they're more three-dimensional, like a Dorian Yates, more bulbous, so to speak. Melvin does have those little spikes at the end of his pecs. I believe it was, who was it? Rich Gaspari has those as well. It's a genetic thing. It's a genetic thing. But Sean Ray, when he hits this shot, his right pectoral gets a split, and it, it fades away. And You know me and my symmetry. Ding, ding. Melvin Anthony gets a second point here. Or no, sorry about that. I would lose my head if it weren't so darn attractive. Melvin Anthony lost the first point. So it's a tie game, heading into the side shots. And the 95 Sean Ray, admittedly, is not his best year. A very good version, nonetheless. That and the 97... Probably second best versions, 94, 96, probably his best. But in 95, he had the best side chest and side tricep for his version. And if you look at how thick his pec is, I believe it is enough to defeat Melvin Anthony. Hard to get the sizes here, Melvin Anthony. He's pretty much squatting, he's sitting down. Takes away from his height. I could have even made him a little bit shorter. But anyway, or I could have made him a little smaller. His arm is looking quite a bit larger than Sean's, but I like the shape of Sean Ray a little bit more. Side tricep. Now, if Melvin Anthony was in better condition, he had more muscle separation in the tricep, I would give him this one no problem. He has the bigger tricep. But look at Sean Ray here. Like I said about the 95 Sean Ray, his side shots really improved. He improved on his pecs, I believe. And his, his arms, just a fantastic side tricep for Sean Ray. Glutes look good, too. Look at the hanging hamstring on Melvin Anthony. Wow. This is a point for Sean Ray. He takes both of the side shots. Now the back developments. These are iffy. These are iffy. Melvin Anthony is winning this one, for sure. Look at the wingspan. Look at the muscle separation in the back. But... It's bodybuilding, and conditioning is all important. When you look at the glutes, Melvin Anthony always suffered in this area, and this is actually a decent set of glutes for him. And Sean Ray always had a good diced bum, I guess you could say, for a lack of a better term. But here in 95, this is his downfall in this year, I believe. He didn't quite have as striated glutes as previous years. I uh, I still would go with Melvin Anthony. He's just dominant. Rear double bicep. Very narrow is Sean Ray in this shot. Not the best rear double bicep for him at all. Melvin Anthony, clearly the winner. 
But in both cases, he was losing in the conditioning. And that's important. That's important to me. It should be important to you guys as well. So I have no choice but to just give Melvin Anthony just one point for both of the back shots. You might think that's not fair. Even for Sean Ray, why not give Sean Ray a point because of his glutes? No, no, he was losing in the back department and the lags. Well, the calves look good on Sean Ray, but anyway. I can't go on all day, but I like to make a good decision on this. I'm not going to give Sean Ray any points for the back. No, he's losing in the back development. But I'm not going to give Malvin Anthony two points either because he is losing in the conditioning. One point for Malvin. Long story short. Ab and thigh shot. This is a close one too, guys. This one surprises me, you know. I thought Sean Ray would just go mow right over Melvin Anthony. So kudos to you, the fan that requested this. Stick your head up high. This was an excellent comparison. I have to go with Sean Ray in this. I like his abs just a little bit better. And more maybe to do with the twist. He's doing the twist. The twist and shout. Most muscular, it's plain to see. It's all about levels when it comes to a shot like this. And Sean Ray, he has the muscle separation in spades. And size is irrelevant when it comes to the conditioning and the muscle separation. It's just a domination for Sean Ray. I'd like to end with this most muscular. And Sean Ray, he is the winner of this competition. But I'm here to tell you this was a close one. Malvin Anthony gave him a run for his money. But either way, this is an excellent comparison in its own right, this most muscular. Sean Ray, just fantastic. What a man. What a bodybuilder. He is a very cocky man as well. But I guess if I look like this, I'd probably be twice as cocky as Sean Ray. Sean Ray wins this comparison. 1995, excellent, excellent addition to Sean Ray's repertoire of versions, for sure. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Hit a thumbs up, subscribe, have a good day.